From the Athens Tech Studios, this is the Athens News Podcast. Local news you can use about Athens and Clark County, all in seven minutes. And now, here are your top stories. The Athens Clark County Police Department is investigating the death of Eugene Scott, 72, due to a gunshot wound. The incident occurred on August 26th around 8:12 a.m. following a disturbance on Old Monroe Road. The police found Scott deceased in a residence on the same road. Anyone with relevant information is urged to contact Detective Harrison at 762-400-7361 or via email at david.harrison at accgov.com. Tips can also be given anonymously to Crime Stoppers with a potential award of up to $1,000 for details leading to the identification and arrest of the individuals involved. The Crime Stoppers tip line is 706-705-4775. This from the Red and Black. An Athens intersection at Broad and Lumpkin Streets was dedicated to the late legendary Georgia coach Vince Dooley in a ceremony held yesterday. The Georgia legislature passed a resolution to honor Dooley, who passed away in October. The event revealed the official Vince Dooley Memorial Intersection signage. Attendees included the Dooley family, Governor Brian Kemp, local officials, and Representative Houston Gaines, who proposed the resolution. The ceremony was not open to the public, but Georgia football fans in Athens for the September 2nd season opener will be able to view the signage. This from the Athens Banner Herald. Founded in 1986, Athens Research and Technology, or ART, has been a vital player in health research for issues like inflammation, cancer, and Alzheimer's disease. ART specializes in purifying human and animal proteins from plasma and tissues for studying and treating health challenges. The CEO, John Mitchell, emphasizes the company's role in advancing disease understanding and cure development through its tools. The company has grown from a small team to around two dozen employees with plans to reach 30 by the end of 2023. ART engages in internships and aims to develop a talent pipeline, even establishing a bioscience program for local high school students. The company's growth is evident in its facilities with a new building in development. ART has received recognition for its contributions in health and business spheres. This from the Athens Banner Herald. Achieve more with Athens Tech. At Athens Technical College, their programs can connect you with in-demand and high-paying careers. I graduated from Athens Tech in May and started my job two weeks later. I had a job before I left, thanks to my professor, and just focusing on growing a career. As far as Athens Tech, I think I've been a member of the advisory panel for 10 years now, and uh, it's been it's been an awesome experience. I'm currently going to Athens Tech. I started out as an accounting major. I finished all my accounting classes and then switched over to the culinary and baking program. My name is Alex Lang. I'm an electromechanical engineering student. This is my second year at Athens Tech and I graduate in December. The long-term goal is to work for the railroad. Uh, whether that be Norfolk Southern or CSX. Achieve more with Athens Tech. Find out more at athenstech.edu. And we take a look from what's going around on social media. And today we take this from the Clark County Sheriff's Facebook page, and this in quotation marks. It's graduation day at the Athens Clark County Jail, and prep has been underway all week as jail residents participating in the groundbreaking Principles Over Passion program taught by Shane Sims prepare for this big day. Their excitement filled the classroom as they were fitted for business attire, donated through the generosity of the members of Ebenezer Baptist Church West. These suits, shirts, ties, and shoes will become part of each resident's property and are theirs to take with them upon their release. The hope is that these clothes will help set them up for success, whether they be for a job interview or even a daddy-daughter dance like for a past graduate. It is heartwarming to watch residents help each other select suits, teach them to tie their ties, and truly become invested in each other's success. We will share more later, but please join us in wishing these participants well today. People responded. Jackie Turner Lunsford said, This is a wonderful outreach program. The men look great in their suits. May they dress for the best and work on that good future that is waiting on them. It may be difficult at times, but they can do it. My prayers and best wishes for all of them. 
Brian Freeze says, so proud for all these gentlemen who have taken a path that leads to success. Meanwhile, Moni J says, warms my heart. Congratulations to them. And Teresa L. Wood says, praying wonderful blessings upon these gentlemen's lives. Several top athletic administrators in Georgia received significant pay raises spurred by the success of the Georgia football program and athletic director Josh Brooks's compensation boost. Brooks's base salary rose from 780000 to 925, with his total pay increasing to $1.025 million. Other senior executives like Doris Griffin, Will Lawler, and Rod Curson also saw salary increases. The number of individuals making over 300000 went from 24 to 27. The football program's support staff pay increased to $5.26 million. Key coaches like Kirby Smart and Mike White received pay increases, with Smart now receiving $10,502,000. The Athletic Association attributed the raises to retention, equity, or contract renewal. This from the Athens Banner Herald. Former University of Georgia tennis star John Eisner has announced his retirement from professional tennis after the upcoming U.S. Open. Eisner, 38, has had a successful career on the ATP Tour since his graduation in 2007, achieving a career-high world tennis ranking of number 8 in 2018. At 6 feet 10 inches, he's been known for his height. In an Instagram post, Eisner explained his decision reflecting on his 17-year journey and thanking his UGA tennis coach, Manny Diaz. He had notable success at the Atlanta Open, winning six titles. Eisner's final tournament match is in the U.S. Open's opening round against Fasundo Diaz Acosta. This from WSB-TV. New York-based new media artist Paul Pfeiffer's video installation titled Red, Green, Blue featuring the University of Georgia Redcoat Band will be honored at the Athenaeum from August 31st to November 18th. Pfeiffer, who previously taught at UGA, collaborates with the Redcoats to explore the mechanics of performance. The 31-minute installation, which first debuted in New York City, portrays Sanford Stadium as a broadcast studio, editing visual and audio clips of the band during performances. The public opening reception on August 31st will feature Pfeiffer and a Redcoats performance. Pfeiffer will also discuss his exhibition on September 28th, shedding light on his continued work with UGA. This from the Red and Black. Thanks for listening to the Athens News Podcast. Make sure you subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. This podcast is a production of BG Ad Group. All rights reserved.